my main mission is to welcome you to this building, to International School of Economics at TSU. My name is Paul-Henri Forestier. I've been uh, in Georgia for five years. The first four years, in fact, were uh, I, was, I was working for the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development, and I was a regional director of Caucasus, Moldova and Belarus, uh, but at the same time head of the office of, uh, head of the TBC um, office of EBRD. All those who may be interested in project financing or development financing, which would be one of the elective course, it's very important to uh, know uh, something about the essentials of banking, as it is important to know uh, what uh, uh, Jean Frédéric would be teaching, which is accounting, as it is important also to know how to price an asset. And uh, uh, maybe now I would give the floor to uh, Florian, who is an old timer of ISEF, so that he can tell you what he's going to do. And uh, Jean Frédéric, who's conducting the first class tonight, actually, would be the first, last one to talk. Okay, hello everybody, welcome. Um, it's cool, I think we're almost complete. I think not so many people are missing now. And right, we are. And uh, well, yeah, I'm um, teaching uh, the second course, um, not in this mini term, but in January. My course will be concerned with, among other things, um, discounted cash flow valuation. That's a very powerful tool which you can use both for investment purposes. You can use it as a criterion to decide which investment projects to implement and which not. But you can also use it for your personal financial decisions. So if you have a question like how much money do I have to save today or how, what percentage of my income do I have to save every year so that when I go to retirement, I have enough money to live for 20 years, like such a question, um, you can also answer with this tool. So um, then in, this, in the course, we will also do some uh, capital market theory. And um, I'm, unlike my, my colleagues, I'm the only one who doesn't have a practical background. I'm, I'm coming from academia. I mean, they also, also have an academic background, but I don't have a practical background. They have both, right? Um, and, um, you know, the only practical thing I have done so far is to invest my own money <laughs> at the stock market. And, uh, yeah, well, that's what I'm talking about now. I, I managed to about double my, my, my invested money every year in the last years. Okay. Now you might think, wow, I'm really rich, right? But as you will learn in the course, it all depends on where you start. <laughs> and I don't think that I'm the richest man here in this room. So, um, uh, yeah, well, um, you, you will all, we will also have in this course, we will have some kind of investment game, a fictitious game where you can invest fictitious money and we will find out who is the best investor among you, right? Finally, I also teach an elective course uh, in, the, in, in 2015. It will be about uh, financial engineering. The question is, if you are a bank and you construct a new financial instrument, then what would be the right price for that, uh, for that asset which you have newly created because there is no market yet, right? I mean, it's a new instrument. And um, this is for those who are, really have a mathematical inclination, right? Those who are more practically interested. I think it's maybe not so relevant because we don't even have a stock market in, in Georgia. We have a stock market, but as far as I know, there are only 15, 15 uh, securities traded. I mean, that's not really, that's not a liquid market. Right? Okay. I think, you know, it's always very hard to summarize things. Uh, and I always like this quote, it's a French. You have to excuse me for being, uh, for being French, but I can sometimes come up with French uh, French examples. There's a, a French uh, famous poet, Ronsard, uh, who started one of his very famous long letters, love letters, saying, you know, you have to apologize, but I didn't have the time to, to write it short. So uh, uh, I guess finance and accounting is the same. It's, it's a huge, uh, huge uh, scope uh, of content, and, uh, and uh, it's quite hard to put everything together. So uh, I guess eventually I will miss out on a few things, and if anything is unclear, uh, you know, as I will say also, you know, don't hesitate to jump in during my class, and I want this to be as interactive as, as possible. Final exam would be probably 90, if not 100% of the grading. 
Final exam uh, would be made of questions. A good chunk of that would have been covered in the material that would be given to you or uh, uploaded in, in Moodle. But a lot of that would be things which will have been discussed during classes. So um, I will repeat that, but if you do not attend the classes, if you cannot attend the classes, uh, please make sure that somebody is taking notes and that you can, you can have access to that because it could be penalizing for you if you are not, if you're not attending the classes when it comes to final exam. But very little homework, probably only one.